Are you okay? We heard like extreme moaning from upstairs. Do you need help with something, Mindy? Uh, Ugh, my stomach. I think she's on her period. Seriously, Hazel, seriously. Whenever I'm on my period, I'm not like that. Well, then again, you're not like everyone else. Still, I, I don't think this is a period though. This seems like something more extreme. Ugh, my stomach just hurts. Um, uh, I have the same pain all the time. Don't worry about it, it's normal. Um, that's not normal. Matilda, are you eating healthy? Same goes to you, Mindy. Well, uh, yeah, I think she's just on her period, to be honest. Really, Hazel? Really? It just feels like all the blood is being drained out of my body. I feel really empty and weak. Ugh. Um, eat some food. I think that'll help. I can't. We barely have anything vegan, and I'm vegan. Don't worry. I know what this is. I felt this exact same way many times. Until finally I changed my diet and started eating healthy. You need some meat. But, uh, Scarlet, she's vegan. We have to respect that. There are other good vegan things too. Shut up. She needs meat. Um, I'm on it. And quick, Hazel. Hmm. Wow, you got a lot of good stuff in here. Hazel, for the sake of the Lord, for the sake of Mindy, please actually take something seriously for once. And hurry the tail up. Any meat is fine. Ooh, burgers. Get some food. KK then, burger it is. Oops. Just give me something, I don't care. Don't worry, Mindy. You just need to change your diet. You could stay vegan, but you have to eat more healthy food. Then why don't we just give her a healthy vegan dish, huh? Because we don't have any time for that. She needs food now. So meat it is. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta put everything back. Oh, for barking out! Oh well, it's past five seconds, so. Mindy? Uh, so what is she gonna do? She's going to eat that burger. And by the way, juice solves nothing. So, now what? Uh, now she eats the burger. She needs to start eating healthy now. You probably had too much sugar if you were drinking juice all day. Uh, uh. Okay then, uh, I guess. Let's go upstairs, then you can sit down in your bed and eat it. Okay then, wanna watch a scary movie or something? I don't really like scary movies. Um, I'm gonna go up. Come on, do you need help? No, I'm fine. Thanks though, Scarlet. Mm-hmm, of course. Hey guys, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, is that okay? Shh, she's asleep. Oh. Well, I'll be back. <laughs> I can't believe I actually made it past. Sweet, I snuck the phone in successfully. Now let's see what Mindy's trying to hide from me. Hmm. Let's see here, nothing interesting. Ooh, what about her photos? Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing about Mindy is in here. 
Hmm, let's see. Wait a minute. Isn't that a picture of Jennifer being at Matilda? Oh yeah, from a few weeks ago. That's right. When Jennifer beat them up. Hmm. Well, nothing interesting here. Ooh! Contacts, totally. Wow, Mindy isn't even in her contacts. Ouch. Hmm. Ooh, who's Gerald? <laughs> hmm. Send me a picture. <laughs> Who is this Gerald? Is it her boyfriend? Does she have a crush on him? <laughs> so many questions. Oh, duh. Not that kind of picture. <laughs> okay, then. I mean your face. Oh, dog. <sighs> okay, I cannot look at that until he sends me a picture of his face. Whoa, he's hot. Maybe I could show this to Mindy. Oh, yeah, totally. She could get revenge on her sister for being a total butthole. Go out with her crush, yes. I could totally get Mindy a smoking hot man. I've got the perfect plan. Hey, Mindy, you want to hook up with a cute boy? <coughs> what? What would this cute boy's name be? And do I even know him? I don't know. His name's Gerald. I could show you a picture if you want. Um, what is that? What? Oh, dog! Why is... Oh! Not that picture. He misinterpreted what I said when I said send me a picture. I mean the photo of his face. Hmm, he is pretty hot. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't be saying this. I, I'm not single. I, I, I mean, I have a crush on someone else. You're not single? Um, who do you have a crush on? Or who are you dating? No one. No one at all. I said that wrong. Mm-hmm. Listen, Hazel, if she doesn't want to talk about it, just leave her alone. Although I am curious, Matilda. You guys can't tell Eliza. I need to keep this relationship a secret. How come? Well, Eliza, she hates the guy I'm dating. And you guys know Jennifer. Well, duh. Unfortunately. <laughs> well... You see, Jennifer is after me. She will try and kill me again if I date Chris. Chris is that purple walrus, right? The one you broke up with? And got back together with a few weeks back. Oh yeah, I know him. He was the one Jennifer was protecting and then he broke up with her, I saw it. Question, why does that horse hate you so much? You see, it's a long story. Chris and I, we were dating for five years. We've got quite a history together. And you see, when you weren't here, he decided to host this party to cheer me up because there was this other bully here named Edna Albano. She's a purple chinchilla with a turquoise eyes and a fuzzy tail. If you ever see her, avoid her. Okay, bully and Albano, purple chinchilla. Okay, got it. Yeah, she was pretty insane and popular for being a troublemaker. You don't ever want to mess with her. Yeah, and it's a good thing Jennifer expelled her, which I'm not sure why she did. Because, you see, Jennifer and I, we used to be best friends. And, well, she turned her back on me at the hospital. I mean, technically, she turned her back on me a long time ago, at the party. I slapped Chris because he said everything would be okay, although I had already lost hope. It didn't make me feel any better. So I slapped him out of stress. Rude. Stop it, Hazel. You can't blame her. Yeah, and Chris is a real sensitive guy, so he never really forgave me. Not for a long time, anyways. And he started dating Jennifer, behind my back. I, of course, found out immediately. And Jennifer just held a grudge against me. 
I thought that that was the real reason she hated me. But then, at the hospital, she told me she was using me the entire time to get her hooves on some hot boys. And as soon as I mentioned Chris, apparently she thought she had this in the bag. And then she threatened to try and kill me again and like really kill me if I was dating Chris. So don't tell anyone that I'm dating Chris because then the secret will spread. So for one thing, Jennifer will kill me if she knows. And another thing, Eliza hates Chris because of his sensitivity and the fact that he wouldn't forgive me for a long time. And the fact that he went dating Jennifer on the same day that he broke up with me. Ouch, he sounds like a jerk to me. Really, Mindy, he's not. You just gotta get to know him. He's just a little sensitive. And the only reason he waited to break up with Jennifer was because he was threatened by her. Besides, he was going to wait to date her anyway. But then that plan got canceled by the Queen of Evil, AKA Jennifer. And yeah. Just avoid Jennifer, but you're okay around Chris. We're dating, but don't let anyone know. Okay then. And that was all because you were attracted to another guy on that phone. Okay, okay. I'm not really attracted to him. I shouldn't have said that. Not interested, move on, show Mindy. Okay, okay. Isn't he dreamy? I bet you two could totally get together. Wait, I saw that guy earlier today. He complimented me. Oh, what, did you snap at him too? No, it's not like that, Hazel. I just, I'm new to this whole popularity thing like I told you. So, um... His name's Gerald. Yep, you two could totally work out. If he's single. Now you could still win him over. After all, your fur is totally flawless and you're totally cute. Listen, I just don't really know if his type really, you know. I guess I'm not all that interested. No, 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 no. You gotta hang out with him. Come on, at least talk. It's best that he goes to her school. Now you guys can talk to each other all the time. Hold on, before we make any plans to hang out, whose phone even is this? And if he sent that horrifying picture right there, clearly he's dating whoever this phone belongs to. I don't want pictures like that. And I just can't date a guy who, well, I just, I can't do it knowing what that picture is. You shouldn't have scrolled up, okay? I, I just asked him to send me a picture and he sent me that. So clearly he assumed that you were the owner of this phone, meaning his girlfriend. Well, I mean, I don't know if we'd work out. Uh, Hazel, this looks a lot like Cindy's phone, which I told you to stay away from. Where'd you get it? Well, you took it downstairs with you and I kind of snuck off with it. And well, I wanted to see what you were hiding from me. Don't tell me you saw those pictures. Don't tell me. What pictures? I saw a picture of Jennifer and Matilda beating each other up and getting mad. Whoa, 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 you got a picture of that? Cindy did. Oh yeah, she got a picture of the whole scenario. You didn't see any other pictures? No, not really. Oh, think dog. Think dog what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, but seriously, I don't want you snooping around in her phone. Put it back where it was. So when she gets back from the hospital, she knows we weren't messing around with it. Or thinks, anyway. Hold on a second. Your sister got a picture of that whole scenario? Of you and Jennifer, yeah. So basically, evidence that Jennifer did beat me up? Yeah, why? Weren't there security cameras? Give me that phone. I need to show this to my dad. 